that that is that 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 that
services are. I would also like to know if the parents in the county know what a gender support plan is. Are they given an explanation in a school or county email, or is the school individually responsible to provide that information to the parents? According to page 42 in the agenda, gender support plans are proactive. I'd like to know how transparent this school district that is putting this gender support thing together. There are so many parents that don't know what's going on in the schools that when you see something like this, like I'm a regular person, I'm a mother. When I went on and I looked at it, I was very surprised because I had absolutely no clue what it meant. How many parents are not out here in Orange County that are unaware of what's going on in their schools? How can a parent trust these schools and leaving their children there. Now when you have to worry about their children being given hormones, and who are these teachers that are conducting these interviews, or are they surveys? Because the last time I checked, it was illegal to, to give a child a survey in school. So when they're being asked these questions with their gender, are they being asked a question for a survey? Or is a doctor or a psychologist evaluating them? And if they're being evaluated, is their answer going to help CPS remove these children from their home? That's my main concern. Are children going to start being removed from their homes because they do not agree with this crazy and absurd and unrealistic thing that a boy is a girl and a girl is a boy? Where do we draw the line? school in Iowa, Nebraska, Ohio, and Minnesota. I lived in the capital of four Midwestern states. My dad grew up on a farm in Iowa. My mom's family, also from Iowa, her family were educators. My father was an athletic director and coach. Her, her sisters were all teachers, and so was my mom. So this quality education. Why are the schools not focusing on education? That's what they need to be doing. Why are they sexualizing our students? Why are they trying to get involved in things that they should not be involved with. Uh, Mr. Williams, we appreciate you getting these emails out. What people don't understand is what the schools are doing behind the scenes here. There's, there's, there's emails and they're, they're grooming, they're, they're, they're trying to change the lives of sixth graders, people at elementary school, elementary counselors. They get into the pronouns, they have an about me project. They try to build connection with the students, building connections with the students, that's all about grooming trying to change and, and do these things. They're talking about having a safe place to meet with them, especially at the elementary school. Are they gonna have privacy confidentiality? It looks like they're trying to get them off, off campus so they can build a connection. I just, I just don't understand it. Um, the schools need to focus on, on education and keep these other things separate. They, they, they have nothing to do with that. Uh, where I come from, boys are boys, girls are girls, right. and right is wrong. And, and this is wrong. I'm one of five kids, and and uh, and I and I have kids still in the school district out here. I graduated from Bill Park High School, USC Business School, Pepperdine Law School. And this is not right. And to, to to take away the right of the parents that to be informed of something and have disclosure. Kids can't even sign a contract until they're 18 because they're minors. How can you not allow them, their parents, to to be informed of something up at least up until that age? It's not right legally. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I say that name right? J O E T T E. Joette? Joette. All right. She drove about two miles, two hours to get here. He did. Do not I want to thank all of you. I had no idea what I was going to be up against when I came out here, and I'll tell you, I was on fire. But you people have reassured me. I, I, um, 
Mr. I was trying to get names down. Mr. Shaw, Tim Shaw, thank you so much for bringing that up. I commend you, sir. I mean, that kind of courage was, was just unbelievable. Thank you for clarifying for me what it was for, for 13, 14, because so many people are confused. Parents are confused. Um, I happen, I was uh, amazed that you all passed it. Five to five to zero, is that right? Did I get that correct? Unbelievable. Thank you, you have reassured me. Please understand that you are not in the majority. Parents come here and we expect to be attacked, just like we were. I mean, I had asked Mr. Colin Felch as he exited um, that you all were so pleased and proud of. I said, are you planning on taking away parents' rights? And he said, no, no, we have no policy and we will not do that. And he is a good man with a good background. We appreciate that. But it has to be stated, refusing to notify parents assumes that parents will not agree with the policy of gender change. I'm going to say it again. Refusing to notify parents assumes that parents will not agree. This is discrimination against parents. I have been attacked for parents. I have been accused of things. One person said so-called parents. Another person said students at risk. That's assuming that parents are, are all bad. We are not bad. We are good people and kids, and we love our children. You said Jesse? Yes. Yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to apologize being a little aggressive when I got here earlier with these people here. But we all know one thing. God created man and he created women. Amen. That's it. Yeah. There's no in between, nothing. The Bible doesn't say anything about transgenders, is there? That they exist, that they should exist? I don't think so. So you should be saying no, we can't be teaching our kids this in school. And we need to notify our parents onto what's going on. We have every right as a parent to know what's happening with our children. Right. That's why we are parents. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is wrong for you to say that it's okay to be transgender because it's not okay. God did not make man, he did not make women. I mean, God made, the, I'm sorry, God made man and he made women. That's it. So I ask you to please reconsider of what you say regarding that because we have every right to know of what's going on and our kids need to be kids. They don't need to be taught this. When I was in school, I never knew anything about gay or transgender stuff in school. All we did was play and learn math, learn reading, and play all day long. That's it. Nobody was teaching me, hey, you could be a boy if you're a girl, you can be a girl if you're a boy. That's nonsense. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. This video has been edited by iMovie Lord. Lamb Tram. Hello, iPod! Hello, iPod! Hello, iPod! Có tóm một diễn tham. Càng nghe như càng tèo, 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 tèo. Ta tiến linh từ đoàn ngày thường. Càng nghe như càng tèo. Quan càng to, cu càng tèo mơ. Thằng lính dù nào nói khi nhảy dù chim không tèo, thằng đó xạo. Mà đa số chúng nó nói xạo thiệt 